Hi team, this is a fun one. It's another one from the Foundations of Reading 190 test and it involves looking at these syllable types, closed, open, and silent E. And we, we, we know those, closed is a uh, vowel consonant, open E is constant vowel, silent E is, you know, vowel consonant and that at silent E or magic E, right? And we have a word like accumulate. So what I'm gonna do just to start just before we read the question, let's just look at the word accumulate. And let's just, uh, just for fun, just pause, and just listen to me and then try it on your own. Write down the word accumulate on your page and then just label the vowels and consonants. Just be like vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel, uh, consonant, magic key, right? And then see if you can um, you can spot syllables. Like, do you spot? Uh, do you see the VC? Uh, do you see the VC, VC CV words? Right. We have a couple of them here. We have that one there. So what does that mean? It means that this first syllable is closed, right? Yeah. Then we have um, uh, we have it gets a little tricky, right? Because I, accumulate this is actually oh this is actually an open syllable this is a c a cv open syllable and accumulate the second syllable is actually another open syllable do you see that so ac is so let me write it down accumulate we got accumulate four syllables the first one is closed it's a uh, it's a vowel consonant. The set, the next two are open. It is a, a constant vowel, open, constant vowel, and the vowel is long, right? This is a long U, long U. And the last one, late, is a, a vowel consonant magic E. Is that right? Okay. All right, now I'm going to let you read the question. I hope I didn't ruin it for you. Read the question on your own, uh, two minutes, and we'll talk. Go ahead. Let's read it. A fourth grade student tries to decode the word accumulate in a science article by using syllabication skills. In order to read the individual syllables of the word after dividing them correctly, the student would need to be proficient in decoding which of the following syllable types. So notice we're in the upper grades, multi-syllable words, lots of content specific vocab and academic vocabulary and multi-syllables. So it makes sense, fourth grader, they're getting more exposure to tier two and tier three uh, academic and content specific words. And a lot of those words are multisyllable. So syllabication would really come in handy for, for the upper elementary and multisyllable words, right? So they come across this word. They would need to um, know these syllables here for accumulate. They need to have an awareness of closed syllable, open syllables, and um, silent E or BCE, right? So which one is that? Uh, so this one says silent E, closed, and vowel team. Wah, wah, wah. There's no vowel team there. This one says vowel team, eh, constant uh, L-E, eh. <laughs> Those are out, right? Uh, how about this? Um, uh, open, silent E, vowel team, eh. Okay, what's the right answer? C. They would need to have an awareness, right, of closed syllables. Uh, they would have to know uh, about open syllables, like these ones here. They would actually have to know, have an awareness, some awareness of silent E, be able to spot, you know, silent E syllables. Yes? C is the answer. Now look, team. If you ever saw a student on an open response have difficulty with a word like this, you want to uh, be able to say more than just they had difficulty with the multi-syllable word. You want to look at whatever they say and look at how they pronounce the syllables and be like, was it a breakdown in the open syllables or the closed syllables? Or was it a breakdown at the end of the word 
with a word with like a, 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 a silent E in it, right? So we want to be able to name the syllable types so we can uh, correctly diagnose any gaps in uh, the student's phonics skills, okay? Right, the answer is C. And what an awesome question. Great push question. Lots of review of all this great vocab. Check it out, okay? All right, team, uh, let's keep going. You're doing great. These are our push questions where we get really good, okay? I got, I think I got a few more for you and then we're done, okay? So let's keep going.